And I think that from a training standpoint, when you when you go out on your own, and if you start and you're on your own and you don't have employees, and then you get to where things just get too busy and you have to hire an employee, it's very important to realize the time that is needed to train someone. Yep. And the time that you have to invest up front and you have to be willing to do that. If they're gonna be any good at what you want them to do, whatever that trade is, you've got to invest the time with them up front. And I'm I'm that's completely hypocritical for me to say because I'm not good at training. That's I just had I need, yeah. Yeah, I just had this conversation with one of my employees today and we're we're looking like, okay, we know that we need this a spot for somebody mm -hmm. to fill, but A, you want to fill it with the right person. Sure. And B, you need to have that time and she's really good at wanting to take the time and sit down with somebody. And she says, I know that's not where your priority lies, but it is something. And we had that same exact conversation. Mm -hmm. It is so hard to devote. When I worked at the bank, at a bank when I was in college, my, my first boss there, she said, Erica, I was a, a manager or backup manager or whatever for one of the drive-ins. And she said, Erica, you need to learn to delegate. And I said, I can't because I can do it right. And I can do it fast. Yeah. And that's exactly kind of how I operate. And I, that's a, that's a huge hurdle to have to crawl yeah. over. Sometimes I feel like I'm just like over the top and yeah. then I'm like, nope, I fell back down. It's just, it's really hard for me.